Today's video is sponsored by Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll, you guys! <coughs> Crunchyroll is the world's largest destination for anime, manga, and drama titles straight out of Japan. You can sign up for Crunchyroll ad-free for 14 days at crunchyroll.com slash dingo. Get my own freaking URL, you guys. I'm so excited. Or click the link in the description. More on that later. Bugs. Bugs and I have coexisted. All right. Okay, all right. I, I screamed a lot whenever they'd come near me. God, there was a lot of screaming in my childhood. I kind of have this agreement of if you don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. But I feel like it's a one-sided agreement. I literally have watched bugs from across the room crawl all the way towards me. Then they just chill, like, right above me. Like they're trying to intimidate me. Show dominance, like the alpha male in the room. Which eventually works, as I usually move. And if the bug is big enough, I eventually just give it the keys to the house. And if it flies, it gets the keys to the car, too. In the place I grew up, Canada, land of the maple hockey beavers, we have these long black beetle tube things with pincers on their butts called earwigs. They were a huge problem as you would find them everywhere. When my sister Clara was seven, so I was three at the time, she wanted to go biking. So my dad asked her to put on her helmet as you should, safety, but she refused. My dad was like, put on your helmet. Mm -mm. Clara, mm -mm. <sighs> why won't you put on your helmet? Ah, I see. They were everywhere. Once during the summer at three years old, I was sitting on the couch watching some of that sick, sick anime when I felt something itchy on my inner thigh. Now, being three years old, I was very entranced with my intense animu, and I challenged myself to not scratch that itch till the show is done. I'm big, strong, and a true toughie. I can do this. Till eventually the itching became so unbearable that I gave up and looked down to see a long, disgusting, creepy pincer butt earwig just chilling on my leg. Sup? I was wrong. I'm tiny, frail, and scared. I immediately scream, jumping up and booking it across the living room to the kitchen where I forcibly flip and tumble onto the floor, crashing under the chairs at the dining table. My mom on the phone during all this goes, I'm gonna have to call you back. Look, I don't know what else I could have done during that situation other than crashing into furniture. Now, camping is another situation. Because at least if there's a bug in your house, it's your house, your rules. But when you're outside, it's their turf. I'd gone camping with a friend when I was 13. And at this campsite, there were lots of these bugs called June bugs. They're pretty much a beetle, but like the most uncoordinated, dopey, flying rocks I've ever seen. I've literally watched one fly from one end of the field to the other, just fly full force into a tree and get up like, what? Then gets up and does it again. I don't think natural selection has caught up with these guys yet. So really, staying in my small pop-up tent was the only barrier between these dopey bugs and more nature. One time when sleeping in this fortified zipped up tent, I had woken up to see it was still dark outside. But when I checked my watch, it was uh, 10 a.m. In my confusion, I woke up my friend who also was very confused until we go to touch the lining of the tent where suddenly the light breaks through as hundreds of these June bugs just fall off of the tent, revealing the sunlight. There was literally so many on our tent that they blocked out the goddamn sun. Ah, I see. I get that not all bugs are bad and trying to make my life a living hell. I like ladybugs and dragonflies and butterflies, but not moths. But they're just like butterflies. Bup, 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 bup. No, they are not. I don't care how many YouTubers tell you how great they are. They're the butterflies' aggressive, dusty, buff cousins that constantly try to fight any light source in its vicinity like it's been dishonored by it. When I was a kid, there was a small gap between the wall and my bed. Small enough gap for one of those beefcakes to wander in and get trapped. And just instantly freak out. Because if you tried to help them, they'd just fight you. I had to lie in bed all night listening to... 
Ah, so this is my hell. So I'm a little bitter about them. One morning, I was waking up. And for some reason, I reached over beside my pillow and felt something beside me. In which, for some reason, I grabbed it and brought it close to my face. For some reason, slowly opened my mouth to eat it? I don't know, I was really tired and it was very fuzzy and I don't remember a lot. And I don't know what's going on as a very sleepy me opens up my eyes to see a very sleepy moth in my hands. Panic. Instantly throw the moth, book it out of my room, and seclude myself in the bathroom for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I felt so betrayed by my brain. I have no idea why it was like, cool, let's just grab and try to eat this thing. That's survival, right? That's human things, right? We good? No! I don't know, you guys. I just, I try to be nice to bugs. I ca I'm a catch and release kind of gal, but I just feel sometimes it's survival of the fittest. Be nice to bugs, kids, because eventually they will rule us all. Speaking of rule us all, anime definitely rules me. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Crunchyroll, which I profusely worship as they feed my anime addiction of spiky-haired boys and over-the-top fight scenes. Crunchyroll is the world's largest destination for anime, manga, and drama titles straight out of Japan, professionally subtitled in full 1080 HD. I just started to watch Dr. Stone. I'm like two episodes in and I'm kinda digging it. So again, sign up for Crunchyroll ad-free premium for 14 days trial. Link in the description or use the URL crunchyroll.com slash dingo, D-I-N-G-O. And dingo was her name Oh, Sorry. Watch Dr. Stone <laughs> so I have somebody to talk to about it because none of my friends have watched it and I want to talk about it. I mean, look at that hair. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. So go off and enjoy that sweet, sweet anime hair.